In this video, I'll be showing you how to crochet this beautiful hatching egg. It's perfect for an Easter tree decoration or for your spring table centerpiece. It's the size of a real egg and it doesn't take long to make. The pattern for this egg is available on my website, which is linked below. I used two double knit yarns and a three millimeter crochet hook. It turned out really pretty. Just make sure whatever you do, that you use the same thickness of yarn. And the egg is also stuffed with some toy filling. I got these materials on Amazon and I'll link them below. We're gonna start with a magic circle. So we're going to lay the yarn over our fingers like this, and then lay it over these two fingers here, and then same loop again, okay? So you have three yarn loops on your hand, and then you're gonna hold this end piece of yarn with your pinky and your thumb and then what I like to do is just kind of get that down so it's the same as the other loops all right and then you take your hook and then you go under these two and then pull on this first one and pull that under the other two loops so your yarn looks like this and then you're going to keep this loop on your hook and push your hook up and over these two grab this end piece of yarn again all right and pull it through this small loop that you just made All right, and then it should look like this and then you're gonna take that off of your hand and then just there's your magic circle all right so now you're gonna start crocheting in the round and you're gonna do six single crochets into the circle. Okay, so this is round one, and you're going to pop your hook through the circle, pull up a loop. So you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through those two loops. All right, so that's your first stitch there and if you like you can mark that stitch if it if it's difficult for you to see I'm going to mark that with our stitch marker All right and then you know that stitch one and it should look just like a little V here all right, and then you are going to do the same thing again. You're going to take your hook into the circle, pull up a loop and pull through two. So you have one, two. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing again. So that's number three. Pull through those two. Okay. And then we're going to do number four. Exactly the same. And then five. And then All right, so I'm gonna keep the marker on because I know it looks obvious that that's the first stitch, but when you pull the circle, um, it's just to show that that's one, then you've got two, three, four, five, and six stitches, okay? So that's your first round done. Now you're going to close your circle. 
So the way I do this is you have your yarn tail here and you have these two loops and what you want to do is close the, this big gap here and you want to pull on your yarn tail and that's connected to one of these. Okay, so once you find out which one it is, so it's connected to the top one. So then the other end of this loop is connected to the other loop. So the top of this is connected to the yarn tail and this end of it is connected to the other loop. So we're going to pull on this and that should close the other loop. So we're going to pull, see, so the other loop is closing and the, this loop is getting bigger but that's fine because we can close it with the yarn tail. So we're going to close, close, close and that closes our circle and then you're going to pull on the yarn tail while holding down your work with your fingers just to make sure it doesn't go loose pull and then that's nice and closed okay and then what you want to do to close your circle properly you're going to take take your stitch marker out and slip stitch into this first stitch all right so we'll take our marker out you can see where it was which was here so to slip stitch all you've got to do is take your hook pop it through that stitch that you just had your marker in. So these two loops here, and then pull through. So you've got two loops on your hook. Don't yarn over and just pull through, right on through. So you're pulling through three loops in total, okay? And that is your complete circle. So now you've done your slip stitch, you are going to do your second round which is going to be 12 stitches in total and you're going to be increasing the circle by two stitches in each one of these single crochet stitches all right so first of all we're going to single crochet into the stitch that we've just gone into with the slip stitch because this is our first stitch okay so we're going to pop our hook in yarn over and pull through and then pull through these two. And if you want to, you can pop the stitch marker in. All right, so that's the first stitch in this round. And then you're gonna do another in that same hole, okay? So that's the first stitch again, and this is stitch number two in this round. So you now have two stitches in this round, okay? Okay, and then you want to go into this next one here and do two stitches again. One. And two. You have four stitches in this round now. And then the next one one and two and you have six stitches and you come to the middle of your circle okay so you have these three stitches left one two three and you're going to be doing two stitches in each one two three, oops, three, four, and five, six. Okay. Now you've finished your second round 
and you have 12 stitches in total and you have this hole here which if you do have a hole in the middle you can pull on the tail and it closes right up okay so we are going to take our stitch mark out and we're going to slip into this stitch here all right that closes our circle again we also want to start our third round in this stitch because this is the first stitch so we are going to do 18 stitches in this round and to increase to 18 what we want to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and two in the second stitch all right so when we do our first single crochet And as that's your first stitch, you can pop your marker on just to mark where you are. So that's, we know that that's our first stitch and we're going to be doing one, two, one and two, all the way around, okay? And that will give us 18 stitches in total. So in the second stitch, we're gonna do two, kind of see that this is the bottom of your egg and as you go you can start kind of shaping it into a little bowl like this so we're just going to increase one more time to 24 stitches okay so you're increasing by six stitches every time so that that we just took the marker out of. We're gonna slip into that one. And then we're gonna do another increase. So this is gonna be our last increase. This is going to increase your circle to 24 stitches. So you're going to do exactly the same thing as you did before with your first stitch. Pop it into the same stitch as your slip stitch and pull through. So that's your first stitch in your round and you're just going to mark that as well. And instead of doing one and then two and then one and then two, well you're going to do one in this stitch one in the next stitch and then two in the next stitch okay so that we've done our first and then in this stitch we're going to do one single crochet 
and then in the third we're going to do two. So every third stitch you want to do two single crochets. So the fourth you want one single crochet, and the fifth is one, and the sixth is two. And then so the seventh is one, eighth is one. And then the ninth is two. Tenth is one. The eleventh is one. And then the twelfth is two. The thirteenth is one. 14th is one and the 15th is two. The 16th is one, 17th is one and then the 18th is two. Alright, so you should now have 24 stitches on this row. You're just going to take your stitch marker off and then you're going to pop your hook through that first stitch and slip stitch. I always feel like when you slip stitch that means you're safe, <laughs> you're home and dry. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this so we don't get that in the way because we're done with this now. If there is a hole, you can pull it a little bit, but you don't really need to anymore. We have 24 stitches around, and we're going to just work up in rounds of 24 now, but we're gonna introduce our second yarn. So the, the second yarn is going to be the first stitch, okay? And we're just gonna do a half stitch in this first stitch, and I'll show you what I mean now. So. We're going to take our second yarn, it's a little bit tricky at first, and we're going to just have it like this, and we're going to pop our hook through the first stitch here. All right, and then we're going to take our second yarn and pull up a loop and pull through with that second yarn, okay? And then we're going to switch back. We're going to kind of just pull that so we don't have too long of a tail on it, okay? And then we're going to switch back to our first yarn and pull through those two. All right, so I hope you saw that and just make sure that cheeky one is just out so it looks like a nice V. All right, so that's our first stitch. So our first stitch was with, with yarn two. Now we're going to go back to yarn one for stitches two, three, and four. Okay, so we're going to carry on with our single crochet, making sure that we are going to be holding the second yarn along the stitches so it looks nice and neat, okay? So we're going to hold it down with our third finger and in this next one you're going to go through and then underneath the second yarn, pull up a loop, the first and then pull through. Right, so that's number two, and then three and four are going to be just the same. Go in and single crochet. And then four is going to be the same. Okay, so now you have four stitches. The first one you have the V of the stitch with yarn two and this, the other three are with yarn one and you can see from the back that this is kind of hidden although it doesn't matter too much because you can't see the inside but it's just nice and neatly hidden under here all right so you're just going to carry on and in the fifth stitch you're going to be pulling up a loop from 
yarn two. So we're going to pop our hook through, pull up a loop from yarn two, and then pull through yarn one again. And the next three stitches you're going to be doing yarn one. Okay. with yarn two, pull through with yarn one, and then one, oops, one, two, three, you're nearly back at the start, and then one more, Pull up a loop with yarn two, and then back to yarn one, and then you're going to do your last three stitches in the round. didn't put a stitch marker on this first stitch because we can see the first stitch is marked by yarn two but you're welcome to do that anyway if you want to um, you can see that this stitch here is the first stitch all right so we're going to just slip stitch into that one going to do our first stitch of round six with the yarn two, the second yarn, okay? So we'll take our yarn two and we're going to single crochet into this first stitch here that you just slipped into. You pull up the loop and then as we did before, we are going to go through these two with our first yarn, okay? So you've got one stitch there, just pull that little one out again. And that's going to be the start of your zigzag. This is our first stitch here, okay? So the first stitch we're going to mark with our stitch marker. So we know where we are and then we're going to just do another one exactly the same as that first stitch. Pull up a loop with yarn two and then pull through with yarn one. Okay so you've got two stitches here, one, two and then we're going to change to yarn one again. Okay making sure as we have done before we just neatly keep yarn two down here. So switching to yarn one and go in the third one, 
pull up and pull through and then in the next one pull up and pull through switch again pull up that second yarn and then pull through and then again in the next one and then switch back to yarn one and you're going to do this all the way around till you get back to the start okay so two and two with each yarn but you're only doing a half stitch with yarn two if that makes sense And this is the start of your V's forming here. So wherever you see the V, the two above that, you put up a loop with yarn two. So we're nearly back at the start. And we just have two left, which is yarn one. Oops. So yarn one. And then yarn one in the next one. Alright, so you've done that round now. That's round six done. <clears throat> and you can see our V's are starting to form and they're really pretty. Okay, so we we want to slip stitch back into this one with the first yarn, which is what we're going to do now. And I don't want to lose anything, so I'm just going to do that here. Lovely. Okay. Okay, so now we're on to round seven. We are going to be doing one is yarn two, and then the second one is yarn one, every other stitch. So instead of every two stitches or two and two, we're going to do one. Okay. Right, so we're going to start with our second yarn. We're going to go through that tiny little one here, pull through, pull up a loop, and then go back to yarn one. All right, and that makes our first stitch in round seven. And I'm going to mark that with our stitch marker. Okay. So 
So every other stitch we want to do yarn one or yarn two. So we've done yarn two first, and now we're going to do, in the second stitch, we're gonna do yarn one, okay? So pull up a loop, and then pull through. And then in this one, we're gonna pull up yarn two. And we're going to go back to yarn one and pull up and then yarn two yarn one and then yarn two Yarn one, yarn two, yarn one, yarn two. And yarn two. Oops. All right, so you've got your 24 stitches in round seven, and we can see our V's forming now really nicely. All right, so we're just going to take that marker out, and round eight, and the first one is going to be yarn two. But you can kind of see roughly where they should go, and Still going to slip into this one. All right. Okay, so we are now on round eight. So we've done our slip stitch, and we are going to, in the first stitch, we are going to put up a loop with yarn two. And then and then pull through it with yarn one. That's our first stitch, so we're gonna add the marker. And then we are gonna carry on two and three. Remember to hold yarn two down. So two and three is yarn one. And four and five is yarn two. 
So this is four. Five. And then back to yarn one. Oops, six. And seven is yarn one. And then back to yarn two. Eight. And nine is yarn two. And then ten. Ten and eleven is yarn one. Twelve. Thirteen, yarn two, fourteen, and fifteen, yarn one, sixteen, and seventeen. Is yarn two eighteen and nineteen yarn one back to yarn two for twenty and twenty one twenty two is yarn one twenty three yarn one and then 24 is yarn two. All right, and then you're gonna slip into this first stitch here with yarn one. All right, so you're home and dry, and you can see our pretty little Vs are starting to show nicely. So you just got one more round with your yarn too and then we're going to stop doing that and then we're going to do the top of our egg but that's the bottom of our egg pretty much done okay we're on round nine we're nearly done with yarn two so we are going to we've slip stitched into the first stitch and we're going to pull up a loop with yarn two go into that little hole there where you just slip stitched and you pull up the loop with yarn two. All right, you've got two loops on your hook and now you're gonna yarn over and pull through. Two, so you have one, You that is that just closes that V there, okay? Now I'm just gonna add the stitch marker to this one because we don't wanna get into a pickle. And then we are going to carry on and we are going to do basically the same as round five. So we're going to do two, three and four with yarn one. Making sure we lay this yarn down. This other yarn. Not two. Lay it down like that. We're going to go two. Three. And four with yarn one, and then pull up a loop with yarn two for number five, and then pull through with yarn one. Oh my god, you can see the bead are closing, it's lovely. Oh, I love this. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do one, two, three with yarn one. One, two, 
Hooray. And then pull up a loop with yarn. Two. V's here. Three with you on one, one two. three, and then pull up a loop with you on two. end you're gonna do is slip into that stitch here with your white your V's are done just looks so pretty and you can actually trim yarn too Buy yarn two, you don't need that anymore. We are done with yarn two, excellent. So now rounds 10 to 12, we've only got two rounds left. You are just going to be decreasing, so you're going to make sure your egg looks comes up into an egg shape with yarn one. All right, so we've slipped into the first stitch. Now we're going to be reducing to 18. So single crochet one, and then we're going to pop the marker in. Now we're going to go one in the second, and then an invisible decrease. So one in the front loop only, and then the front loop only of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those two. 
and you've reduced those two stitches into one. And then we're going to just repeat that, so a single crochet in the next one, and then a single crochet in the next one, and then the third stitch is going to be your invisible decrease again. Okay. And then another two single crochets. One, two, and the decrease stitch. One, two, and that decrease stitch. Another one. Oops. Two. And then another decrease. This will make you around 18 stitches. And this is your last decrease stitch. Okay, so you should have 18 stitches in total. Now we're going to reduce it again to 12 stitches. We're going to take the marker out, slip into that first stitch, You are going to stuff this, so you want to begin to stuff it before you do any of the next part, I think. I actually couldn't weigh this stuffing because it was too light, but you just you don't need much. Just a little bit of toy stuffing is fine to make the egg shape. You can always add more on the next round. So now we're going to decrease to 12. So single crochet in that first stitch. Pop the marker in. And then we're going to do the decrease stitch. So that's put your hook through the first two front loops. Pull through your yarn and then pull through. Single crochet and then the decrease stitch again.
one single crochet in the next one and then the decrease stitch another single crochet in the next one and your decrease Another single crochet and then the decrease stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then your last decrease stitch of this round go and we now should have 12 stitches and feel free to stuff a little bit more if you need to make a nice squidgy egg Now we're going to go from 12 to 6 in the last round and we're going to decrease every stitch around. So our decrease stitch, so going through the two front loops and then pulling through and then yarning over and pulling through again. So you're doing that six times. Nearly there guys. You should have six stitches at the top. And all you need to do now is trim your yarn and we're going to fasten it off and then close the circle with your darning needle. Pop it in every stitch around or a couple of stitches and that will close the circle right up. You can even use this piece of yarn to hang your egg with if you like. Or you can use anything, you can use twine, ribbon. And then pop your needle in when you finish that and then through to the middle of the egg and then trim that. There we go. Gorgeous little egg for your Easter tree. And 
that's it, guys. Love that. If you enjoyed this video, this would be your next go-to video. I'll see you there.